way as you can. And take a look at this tree that came down in Renton. Officials, emergency officials say this 200 foot long tree landed in someone's living room right on top of someone who was sleeping there. This required a very unique rescue. It took eight fire units and a special team out of Seattle One Fire to do the job, freeing that man after an hour and a half pinned under the tree. Q13's Jennifer Lee shows us their incredible rescue work. Yep, that tree came crashing down here at Shadow Woods apartment complex. The man who was on that couch where that tree came down was taken to the hospital in critical condition. Luckily, neighbors say they saw him walking around after he was released. Contractors who worked on that tree today say he is a very lucky man. It was just out of nowhere. A quick but powerful Sunday storm. It's not a good way to wake up like this. Efren Garcia is a tree contractor who removed dozens of feet of this tree off the apartment building, but the tree falling was only the beginning of what turned into an emergency rescue. Beneath the tree's weight was a man who had been sleeping on his couch. They had to cut walls to get to him. They couldn't even open his door because it was pinched. A Puget Sound fire spokesperson says the tree crushing down on his lap somehow missed vital parts of his body. He couldn't be on a better spot. It missed his head. Yeah, it was, so it was lucky. Just look at how much worse this could have been. The base of the tree and the roots are spiraling out. It's massive. Firefighters bringing in all kinds of special equipment and rescue expertise. He said his Bones weren't broken, but he was badly bruised, and, and you could tell he was in a lot of pain. A Harperview spokesperson says the man in his 50s was checked and released in satisfactory condition. After the rescue, Cascade Crane was called in to lift the tree up and saw the man come back home. He was in a lot of pain. He was hobbling around on his cane and in sock feet, and he just wanted to go inside and get some shoes, and I don't... Can't say I blame him. Chief Meteorologist Walter Kelly says a cold front came swinging through Sunday morning and within it a thunderstorm with gusty winds reaching up to 45 miles an hour, which was clearly too much for this tree to handle, destroying an apartment building that was home to six households. These poor people just had a tree out of nowhere come through their house and uh, devastate their lives. I mean, it's got to be a, a big pain in the ass. An incredible part about this is the tree contractor says that tree was in healthy shape. He says it was the saturated ground and that gusty wind that brought that tree down. Everyone who lives in that building is displaced. The good news is they all have renter's insurance. In Renton, Jennifer Lee, Q13.